All right, guys, here we are in a 2008 Toyota Prius. We're gonna be doing a spare Prox. Theirs is kind of jacked up. We're gonna be using a brand new OE Prox, and this is the Prox with the Smart Entry. So, we're gonna go ahead and select with Smart Entry. Got our hazards on, go ahead and connect. Ignition's off. All right, insert Prox key in the slot. I'm just gonna insert the working key into the slot, which is right here. Hit okay. All right, there we are. So we're gonna go ahead and program transponder. Play, do you have a registered transponder? Yes, we do. Okay, insert key, and we're gonna turn the ignition on. Two presses to get it on. So we have everything on here. We're gonna hit okay. Okay, switch ignition off. Ignition's off. Oh, we gotta remove the key. All right, insert new key and leave ignition off. New keys on. You see the security light right here. It was solid for a minute. Now it's flashing. We got error. It's okay. What I'm going to do is we're going to sit here. We're going to wait 60 seconds. Um, we've already had some time lapse. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a timer on for, we'll just put 45 seconds. We'll watch our security light up here. It's like right there, it's flashing. We'll see even if you get an error, because I'm pretty sure the security light was solid. So, <clears throat> we'll wait and see. All right, we got about five seconds left. Four. Three, two, one. As you can see, our security light is not flashing. So even though we got an error and it showed it failed, we're gonna go ahead and leave it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull key out of the slot. I'm gonna put it back in. Customers only works in the slot, so the proximity functions would not work on his. As you can see, even though we got an error, I just fired the vehicle up with our new key in the slot. So transponder or backup transponder is working correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and there you just heard it kick on. So motor's working. All right, so even though you got an error, if you know the system, you know there's a 60 second delay in programming, no big deal. Know your systems, know your systems, know your systems. Know how they work, doesn't matter. Even if you got an error, you can move forward. So we're gonna do the proximity functions next. All right. Here we are, gonna program the proximity functions. We have a registered, we're gonna hit yes. So we're putting it in the slot, okay. Hit okay. Open driver door. Open driver door, switch ignition on. So we're gonna press it twice. Got our ignition on. Hit okay. Switch ignition off. Ignition's off, hit okay. Remove key from the slot. Keys out, hit okay. Press lock on the registered smart key. I don't know, theirs is not working, so this may not work. So we're gonna have to do the reset because theirs is not working. So since their prox got wet, we're gonna reset smart ECU. We gotta leave the door open. And we're gonna hit okay. And we got a 16 minute time required. And we'll be back. All right, reset just got done. So we're gonna go ahead and program prox. Yes, we have registered keys. Insert it in. Switch ignition on. Hit okay. Okay, switch ignition off. Remove key from slot, keys out, hit okay. 
Press lock and unlock on the unregistered for two seconds, release and then hold lock. So go ahead, let's see. One, two, one, two. Sorry guys, I just restarted the program. The button, it looks like it's pressed. It's out and it was just timing. Sorry, it was hard to hold everything down, but. Here on my lap. As you can see, everything kicked on. We're good to go. I'm just fired on. 2008 Toyota Prius with smart entry spare.